It's FIFA 16, so I'm sure you guys need a place to be getting yourself your game cards, your FIFA coins, all that amazing stuff. So the most reliable site for you guys to go and use is MMOGA.com. You all know about it. Head over there right now. Buy yourself your stuff. What's up, guys? Curtis here, and welcome to a brand new FIFA 16 video. Today, we have an un- Believable squad builder. This is a legend squad builder lads and it is out of this world So before we get stuck into it, I have a couple things I want to say to you guys Firstly, if you could smash the like button, that would be absolutely amazing Secondly, if it's your first time watching, then don't forget to subscribe If we could get 1k likes on this video, that would be out of this world Now I have an amazing Legend Squad Builder up for you today. I do want to say a big shout out to JP, one of my mates, Jason. He's the one that's lent me this uh, account. He managed to pack a deco. What a lucky guy. But without any further ado, in gold we have Azmir Begovic. You'll see in a second there's a few choices you could use here. You could go for Courtois. You could also go for Hugo Lloris. Uh, I think they're the only two other choices, but two very solid choices nonetheless. At left back, we actually have Maxwell. Now, I, again, I think there's a couple other choices you could go for here. You can, of course, go for Kurzweil, but I didn't have him in the account, so I didn't want to try him out. Maxwell did a very solid job at left back. At left centre back, we have Marquinhos. Now, whilst we're going through his squad, I do want to explain that this is the best squad I've used on Ultimate Team so far. Now, I know it's got a legend up front, so you would expect it to be better than normal, but... For example, the last game I played with it, I was 5-0 up at halftime and the guy quit. Like, this team was incredible. Maxwell may not have the pace, but he just did a really solid job for me. And when you have these two at centre-back, Kurt Zuma, no, not a Corey, Kurt Zuma and uh, Marquinhos, it's absolutely incredible at the back. 90, uh, 73 pace for both of them, great defensively, really good physical, really fun to use indeed. Right back, we have Carl Walker. You can also use Hector Bellerin, I think, maybe someone else as well. But I went for Carl Walker, obviously, just because he has that mental, mental pace. Defensive mid, we have Blasma Tweedy. A very, very good player. One of my favourite players so far on this game. Again, I think... No, you can't replace him with Ramirez. You can't. But... Very, very good indeed. I think if you were to put Ramirez there, you could maybe put uh, Sirigu in goal. There's lots of different ways you could change this team around. It's quite an open one. But Matuidi is fantastic in game. 13 half K cost at the moment, but 75 pace, 83 defending and 81 physical. It's 100% worth it for that. Right centre mid, we have Moussa Dembele. I've always been a big fan of Dembele for some reason. I don't know why. Even though I'm a Guna, I always like Dembele on this game. Going back to even the days when he was at Fulham with his centre forward non-rare card. Absolutely love him and he's a really fun player to use in the games too. I didn't use him when I first played with his team as well. I think I had Wilshere at right centre mid and upgraded to Dembele. So that's something I got as I've gone along. Next up in right, uh, in left centre mid even, we have, where is he, is Jao Moutinho. The guy is an absolute beast in the game. And of course, he gets a strong link with Deco that you're going to see in a second. But Moutinho, all stats above 71. Amazing pass and dribbling. Four star skills. Very, very fun to use indeed. Now in the left wing position, we have Nani. Again, might be my second favourite in this team behind Deco. The guy's an absolute beast. He's one of my favourite five-star skills I've used. I've used a lot of them, but even though he's only got 84 pace, really fun to use indeed. So, so overpowered for sure. Right mid, we have Theo Walcott. You can make this team work so that you can have someone like Charisma and stuff, but I really like Theo. I really enjoy using him in-game and just that pace. Obviously, being a Guna, I'm going to want to use Theo, but that's some mental, mental pace that he has, and he's very, very OP indeed. And then... Obviously, you saw him just now, the big dog, Deco. I love him. He's one of my favourite players. I've scored some crazy free kicks with him, some other crazy, crazy goals, and I'm a huge fan of Deco in-game. 83 pace, 89 passing, 88 dribbling. Very OP. Now, of course, the other guys played some games with him too, so it's not just me that's played with him. But I think I... Well, I definitely averaged over a goal a game with Deco, that's for sure. I think he's been playing him further back in, like, centre mid. And Cams, who hasn't got to experience him as much, but a very overpowered player indeed. And, of course, he's a first owner, which is mental. But anyway, let's quickly jump over to some gameplay here and talk a bit more about the team. So, I loved it. I really, really enjoyed this team. Like I said, it's probably been the best team I've used so far this year. I got the biggest wins with them. I got five nils. I got some big three nils. I found the team the most comfortable I've had. And I think one of the big parts of that is having someone like Blasma Tweedy in my midfield. Having a player that strong, that solid, to really just solidify any defensive like movement. So, so useful. Of course, having Zuma and Marquinhos behind him was absolutely amazing. But having Matuidi there to break up the play, I think so important. I think you can't forget to be using a big, solid, quick defensive mid this year. I think it's one of the most important parts. 
Other than that, though, Nanny was amazing. You see a lot of lovely skill goals in this episode. I'm sure of it. Walcott was pretty decent going down the right. Of course, he doesn't have skills, which does put me off him a bit. But a lot of pace, which is great. And Deco obviously was amazing. His free kicks were great. His four-star skills were useful. It's a very, very fun player to use indeed. But that, boys is the end of this episode. I hope you did enjoy it. Remember to smash that like button if you did. Subscribe to this channel if you're not here. Have a fantastic day. Let me know if you want to see more squad builders like this and we can definitely arrange it. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.